This is an audio test for the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice. We are testing the Behringer Ultra Voice in front of my closet, inside my bedroom that has zero audio treatment except if you count the bed as an audio treatment. It is important to note that I do live beside a busy, noisy street. So you might hear cars and motorcycles passing by and of course the occasional noisy neighbor shouting down the hallway. I may or may not edit the audio of this video in post-production but if I do it will just be a bit of boosting and a bit of noise reduction because I can hear some hiss that is coming from my lights or is that from the, 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 the AC of the neighbor. So I, I might edit some of it so you hear how this micro microphone really sounds like. For the exact parameters and for the exact uh, editing that I would I might or may not be doing for this microphone, please check the description of the oh, not the audio. Please check the the what do you call that? The description of the video below. Voila. I think tests like these are very important because this is a real use case scenario for a lot of people. Because a lot of people, they, they don't have uh, a dedicated sound studio or a dedicated audio booth. So what they, they do is that they record their voiceovers or they record their YouTubes or podcasts in front of their closet inside their bedrooms because the clothes and the bed absorb a lot of the reflections coming from the room. Now that makes for uh, a much cleaner audio with not a lot of cost. The problem is that when you go online and you listen to the audio test or the audio review of these microphones, what you will normally hear is um, a test in a well-treated environment. The reviewer often try to make the test sound good so you buy this microphone through their affiliate link. Now, I want you to note that this microphone is attached to a cloud lifter. If you don't know uh, the cloud lifter, please look at the description below and check out the Amazon link. What we are going to do now is attach this microphone directly to the Scarlett Solo so you hear how this microphone sounds like without the cloud lifter. This is how the Behringer Ultra Voice sounds like not attached to the cloud lifter. What I did is I just took the end, the other end of the XLR cable and plugged it directly to my Scarlett Solo. Now I did not change the gain on the Scarlett Solo, so you might hear a noticeable drop in volume. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to crank up that gain. And what I want you to do is have your hands on your headphone because it, the sound might, might get bad and you might want to remove your headphone when it gets really bad. So I'm going to crank up the volume now so you hear how much, how much gain this microphone needs without the cloud lifter. So I'm cranking up the volume of this microphone. I, I now hear a bit of um, volume coming back and I'm still cranking up, cranking up, crank, crank, crank. And I think right there, it's around, uh, let's see, it's around 90, 80% on this uh, microphone. And I think this is the, the sweet spot if you don't have a cloud lifter. But the thing is, I'm trying to modulate my voice so I don't hit the, the peaks and I don't come up distorted. So just in case you don't have a cloud lifter, you would need a lot of gain to get a decent volume or a dis decent audio level on this microphone. Amazon links to this microphone can be found in the description of the video below. If you like this video and if you found this useful, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like this video, just don't give me a thumbs down, please. I am doing my best and I am working double time to grow this channel and to grow 
the website which is www.graphicdesign.com that is graphic design g r a f i k design d e s i j n.com visit the website and enroll in one of my courses and i will see you on the next review thank you see you soon